So it's a Sunday morning and uh, it never stops on the farm. I've been up early-ish, looking around, doing a few bits in a stormy, stormy set of conditions, feeding stock. And I wanted to come out here and uh, before I go and do the podcast for today, show you this tree. See this tree? Interesting, isn't it? Jesus said, I am the vine, by which he meant the root stock. And he said, you, my followers, are the branches. And the rootstock is a source of your life. And if you get separated from the roots, you're like this dead old tree. It's just dead wood. Jesus says, I'm, I'm the source of life. Created it in the first place, was there at the creation with the Father, making life and giving life to every living thing. And now here we go. I sustain it day by day. And if you want to live life to the full, you need to stay connected to the rootstock. You need to stay joined on to the vine. Now, Jesus goes on to explain what he means by that. He means you've got to be grafted into him in the first place and explains that happens when you turn from sin and trust him, follow him in his way, become his disciple, his follower. And then you get joined on to the, to the source of life that's in him. And then he talks about how we do that by using his word to have him speak into our life through the Bible day by day. How we do that by asking him anything in his name that's in his name that he'd back up and support. And as we lean our lives on him, prayerfully, walking with him day by day, then we're connected to the source of life. And he fills us with that uh, purpose and ultimately fruitfulness. Now, I can't tell you quite what tree this was. I don't suppose it was a nut tree. I don't suppose it was a grape bush. That would be, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? But uh, no, it's not. But there's certainly a passage where he's talking about being grafted into the vine in John 15. And he talks there about leaning your weight on him, learning from his word, taking him at his word, trusting him for it, and trusting him prayerfully for all the things that take place in your life day by day as you seek to follow him, because sometimes it feels a bit risky taking him at his word. And then he says, if you do that, you will bear much fruit. So here's a question. This week I stood at the funeral of a lady from a farming family. And I was able to open up a passage in 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 15, and speak about what we do with our lives, how we invest our lives, what we get from our lives according to our investment, what the return is on our life. What's the return on your life? Is your life going to be a fruitful life? You've got one life. The sticker on the back of the Land Rover says, one life, live it. You're going to live it for now? Or are you going to invest it in him, in following him, join to him, living that way so that you're fruitful for eternity.